Programming Connect Mesh Boxes. Step 1. Download the Connect Mesh app. Download the Hayfala Connect Mesh app from either the Apple App Store or Google Play. Note, the icon for the app is the plain pentagon without the gear. Step 2. Setting up components. Plug in and connect the components in your setup as follows. Plug the mesh box to the driver. Plug the light into any port on the mesh box. Note, if you are using tunable multi-white or RGB lights, plug the appropriate adapter into the mesh box and then plug your light into the adapter. Attach the power cord. The red indicator light on the mesh box should start blinking. If it isn't blinking, press and hold the reset button on the mesh box until it starts blinking. It takes about 8 seconds. Step 3. Create a new network. Here we will begin the process of creating our first network that will control the devices. Scroll through the welcoming and instruction screens to the last screen and click on add first device. The app will begin scanning for your mesh box. Note, the welcome screen will only show the first time you open the app. If the app has previously been opened, for Android, when the app is open the device's screen will open. Click on the red circle in the bottom right corner. For iOS, if the app has previously been opened, the app will open to the device's screen. Click on Devices in the lower left corner. On the device's screen, click on the plus in the upper right corner. The app will scan the area to identify devices to be added. When the mesh box is found in the app, click on Mesh Box. To provision the mesh box, first, unselect the Additional Security Procedure tab and then click on Start Connection. Helpful hint, the Additional Security Procedure tab is only necessary for extreme scenarios where security of your lights is a concern. Any additional devices, mesh boxes, or switches added to the same network won't require this step. Once finished, for iOS click Done or for Android, click on the red circle with a check mark. When available, the firmware on the mesh box should be updated. If this is the case, you will see an Update Now button when setting up your mesh box or switches. Click Update Now. Click Start Update and follow the next steps. The app will download the new firmware and show a progress circle in the black bar. Once the update is complete, click the red circle with a check mark. To add the lights, click on the mesh box in the Devices tab and select the empty slot or port that your light is connected to. Note, various mesh boxes have either four or six slots or ports, and the ports may already be labeled in the app, depending on the specific mesh box. If not pre-configured, the type of light that is connected to the port may need to be selected from the drop-down list. Once you have added your lights to the respective ports, click on the red circle at the bottom right corner to save your work. The app then reconnects with the mesh box to update the configuration. Once all the lights have been synced, click Done at the bottom of the app. You now can control the individual lights. Click on any light and it will open, giving you control of brightness, temperature, and color as may be applicable to the lights hooked up. Note, clicking on the grayed out icon to the left of each light turns that specific light port on or off. If you click on the respective light, you can test the light by sliding the brightness bar to the left or to the right. If using tunable multi-white or RGB, you can also test the light by sliding the respective bar for temperature or color. Step 4. Set up groups. The next step in setting up your network is to create a group, which is used when new switches are added to the network, allowing them to control a specific set of lights. Important concepts. For the lights to be controlled by a switch or a remote control, they must first be placed in a group. Lights can be placed in multiple groups. Groups can be comprised of any combination of lights or configured ports within the network. Click the Groups tab. For iOS, this is at the bottom of the app and for Android, it's at the top right corner. Click on New Group. Click on the pencil at the top right corner of the app to rename the group.
Next, add lights to the group. Click on the empty tab at the bottom of the screen. Add the lights to the group by clicking on the plus symbol for each light to be added. A check mark will be added to each light you have selected. When done, click the check mark at the top right corner of the screen. On the All Lights screen, only lights that have been selected will be shown, which are the lights included in this group. Step 5. Add Scenes to Groups. A scene is a saved setting for a group of lights and can include things like brightness and color temperature. To create or update a scene, stay on the Groups tab. Click on the icon for Scene A, and using the sliders, adjust the lights to the desired setting. When the scene settings are satisfactory, for iOS, click the Save Scene button at the bottom of the screen, or for Android, click on the check mark in the red circle. Repeat steps A and B for each additional scene needing adjustment. When all scenes have been adjusted, for iOS, click the Save Scene button at the bottom of the screen, or for Android, click on the check mark in the red circle. Saving and sharing a copy of the Connect Mesh network. Once the network is set up and everything is confirmed to be working, the network.connect file should be saved in case of the phone being reset or lost, or if the network is to be shared with others. For iOS, select the Network tab at the bottom of your screen. Select the network to be saved. The network file will automatically be generated and can be saved or forwarded to another user via a variety of methods depending on the phone used. For iOS, AirDrop, Text, or Email are most commonly used. Send the file to the recipient. Note, the file will automatically be named x.connect, with the x being the name of the network. For Android, select the hamburger icon at the top left corner. Select Networks. Select the network to be saved. Once selected, press on the share icon at the top right of the screen next to the pencil icon. The network file will automatically be generated and can be sent to another user via a variety of methods depending on the phone used. For Android, text, email, and nearby share are the most commonly used methods. Send the file to the recipient. The phone may request permission to access files, which is required, in order to send the network file. Receiving the network.connect file. The recipient must download the Connect Mesh app before the network file can be opened. The recipient should have a current version of the Connect Mesh app loaded on the phone or tablet. When the file is received, for Android, it's easiest to save the file, then open the Connect Mesh app. Open the Networks tab, then tap on the Import icon, and import the Connect file. For iOS, when the file is received, double-click on it and select the Connect Mesh app to open it. The recipient will now have an identical network set up inside the Connect Mesh app, including mesh boxes, switches, remotes, groups, and scenes that were programmed.